Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Looks like good old BK's got a new Whopper variant here in the Southwest that appears to be going for a little Texas flair. So let's go in on the all new regional Texas Double Whopper. And as expected, a very beefy, very tall situation here, guys. This is a pretty fantastic looking burger. Absolutely stacked with good stuff here. Starting off with the sesame seed bun. Let's take a look underneath. We've got all the usual stuff from the standard Whopper, which means mayo, we've got lettuce, we've got tomatoes, we've got onions. Let's go a little further under here. And as you guys can see, the main draw with the Texas version, we've got some sliced jalapenos, and they replaced the ketchup with mustard on this one, along with some bacon. We've got a slice of cheese, we've got two quarter pound patties, so we've got a half pound of beef on this thing here, guys. This is looking really nice. Let's see if we can split it just a little bit for you. Just a slice of cheese on top, but lots of beefy goodness. And then on the very bottom of this one here, it looks like it is gonna be just the bottom of the bun. So it's all the standard Double Whopper ingredients, minus the ketchup, but with some sliced jalapenos and bacon thrown into the mix. And like I said, it's absolutely packed as you guys can see. So let's give this one a go and see how the flavor is gonna be. It's the all new regional Texas Double Whopper here at Burger King. Let's peep out this flavor. Man, this burger is huge. And that's one thing about the names of these burgers here at BK. They do tend to advertise what they're promoting pretty well. And considering this is a Whopper in general, you already know it's gonna be a big burger. I mean, guys, look at it, it is. So before we get into this one, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Here we go, it's the Texas Double Whopper, brand new here at BK, at least here on the West Coast. Let's give it a shot. Mm, beefy. Mm-hmm. Well, right off the break, I can already tell I'm gonna have just a little bit of trouble getting through this review right now because I got a mouthful of jalapeno in that first bite along with the flame grilled beef, which is really, really tasty. But that spice that I'm getting is making my mouth explode with moisture. So you're gonna get a lot of crazy jalapeno flavor with this one on top of the flame grilled beef already from BK. But pretty nice so far, guys. Let's go for another bite and we'll give you some more detail. Hang on. Mm. Well, it looks like now I'm getting a solid bite from the mustard to go with the spiciness of those jalapenos. Those are easily the two dominant flavors with this one on top of the flame grilled beef, guys. Everything else is taking a back seat, but man, it is really, really strong as I'm getting further into this. I think the mustard was a nice choice to add that one-two punch to really deliver some extra flavor to this one. Heck, even the mayo on this is not really cooling it off, and I can see why the mayo would still be there because it's one of the main ingredients of the Whopper in general, but you'd think it's gonna add a little bit of coolness to the overall spice that I'm getting. But guys, with the mustard on top of the jalapenos, that's really delivering some really, really nice flavor. And admittedly, I gotta be honest like always, with a name like the Texas Double Whopper, I was hoping there was maybe just a little bit of barbecue sauce or something thrown into the mix, maybe some crispy onions even. When you think Texas, you're probably thinking barbecue sauce, those types of things. But as it stands, you're really getting like a very, very spicy type of Whopper with some mustard thrown in there as well instead of the ketchup. It's a nice combination. The name is a little odd to me, but the flavor is pretty decent. It's still BK, it's still delicious. Let's go for one more bite and we'll close this one out. Mmm. And let me just say, that last bite was probably the best one of all because I actually got the crunch and snap and acidity of the pickle along with the spiciness of those jalapenos and the bite of the mustard as well. With everything else in this one, guys, a very, very nice combination. It really is just a spicy Whopper, but I like it, guys. It's pretty tasty. So yeah, definitely a pretty tasty double Whopper, even though the name is still throwing me off just a little bit because naturally barbecue sauce is the first thing I'm thinking of when I think of Texas. But let's be real, if this was simply called the spicy double Whopper, I think that would have been probably the better way to go considering what it's got on it, guys. I mean, the jalapenos deliver some heat in general. They're really fresh, they slice pretty nicely. But when you combine that with the sharpness of that mustard and then the acidity and snap of those pickles, it's a very potent trifecta that adds to that overall grilled beef flavor on that there. Pretty good. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the Texas Double Whopper here at BK a pretty decent seven and a half out of 10. Super fresh, super spicy, and definitely a very hearty sandwich worthy of the Whopper name. Definitely give this one a shot if you have it in your area. It is pretty tasty. Now the question is, are you in a regional area where they're offering the Texas Double Whopper? Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you've actually been able to find this one and if you've tried it, what'd you personally think? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. FYI, BK, slap a red bun on this Texas Double Whopper and you technically have the Angry Whopper 2.0, minus the onion petals. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.